Hi guys! Welcome to the Brainy Buzz channel. So before we get started, make sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe to my channel. 10 facts about coffee you probably didn't know. So make sure to watch the full video. Coffee is incredible. The smell of a fresh pot is intoxicating. The taste of a first sip is sensational. The caffeine buzz is, in most instances, necessary. Could you imagine life without it? Back in the day, thanks to some true fuddy-duddies, some civilizations had to wake up on their own accord. You know, naturally, we're talking bans on coffee. The first one happened circa 1511 in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, because the governor thought it encouraged people to hang out and brainstorm ways to overthrow him. Eventually, the rule was overturned and order was restored. Thank goodness, because that would not fly today. For more fun trivia about the world's most beloved beverage, here are 17 things you didn't know about coffee. It wasn't always called coffee. People surmised the word coffee entered the English language sometime in the 16th century. Apparently, it was borrowed from the Italian word caf, which comes from the Dutch word coffee, taken from the Ottoman Turkish ka, which stemmed from Arabic kawa. 1. Coffee beans are actually cherry seeds. Coffee comes from a flowering bush-like plant that grows cherries. Once ripened, they're picked, processed, and dried. Each cherry contains two or three seeds, which the average person would recognize as coffee beans. The plant's fruit isn't very pulpy, but it is edible. Taste depends on the growing area, climate, and other factors, but the general consensus is that they're sweet like honey. 2. One origin story is pretty humorous. Legend has it an Ethiopian herdsman named Kaldi discovered the coffee plant circa 850 AD as the tale goes. His goats became crazy energetic after nibbling on the small, red fruit of a bush. Kaldi tried them out himself and gleefully brought them to an Islamic monk, but the monk disapproved and threw them into a fire, prompting the familiar smell of delicious coffee. Everyone panicked and raked the beans to save them from the flames, then ground them dissolve them in hot water, and voila, the world's first cup of coffee was born. Although the story is entertaining, experts warn it's probably made up, and there are too many other accounts to confirm which one is true. 3. Brewed coffee has more caffeine than espresso per serving. People ordering espresso might think they're getting more bang in espresso because it's a more concentrated form of coffee, but according to the USDA, there's only 64 milligrams of caffeine in one serving, one fluid ounce. Coffee has 95 milligrams of caffeine in one serving, eight fluid ounces. Four, the lighter the roast, the more caffeine. As a general rule of thumb, the lighter the bean, the more caffeine it has. So a light roast is most likely to wake you up in the AM or carry you through a lull in the afternoon, followed by a medium roast, and lastly, a dark roast. As far as the type of coffee, reach for cold brew over iced or drip coffee on particularly groggy mornings. It has the most caffeine. 5. You can overdose on it. A life-threatening caffeine overdose is extremely rare, but it is possible. According to a medical review from 2018, most deaths are accidental and the culprit is over-the-counter medication, not beverages. The FDA suggests drinking 400 milligrams of caffeine per day at maximum to stay safe. That's an estimated 4 8 ounce cups of brewed coffee. More could lead to migraines, increased heart rate, muscle tremors, nausea, and dysphoria. More serious side effects, including seizures and hallucinations, are likely to happen with the consumption of 1,200 milligrams of caffeine or more. 6. These high-profile people had crazy coffee habits. Writer Francois Maria Rowett, better known as Voltaire, reportedly drank 40 to 50 cups of a chocolate coffee mixture each day. Although this is much more than the suggested daily intake, the world-famous thinker lived a lengthy life and died when he was 83 years old. Similarly, it's alleged that former U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt drank a gallon of coffee per day and died at age 60 after a blood clot traveled from his leg to his lungs. Though it's unknown just how many cups he had daily, Beethoven would count exactly 60 beans to each serving, no more, no less. 7. Bach wrote a song about coffee. 
circa 1735, Johann Sebastian Bach penned Schweig Still Plottered Nicht, also known as the Coffee Cantata. In the song, a father-daughter duo argues about how she drinks too much coffee, and that's why she doesn't have a lover. Alas, if she gave it up she'd become so upset that I would be like a dried-up piece of roast goat. Yikes. When her father gives her an ultimatum, she lies to please him. While he's out finding her husband, she secretly tells potential suitors they must let her drink coffee if they want to marry her. 8. Coffee Scent – Brazil to the Olympics Brazil couldn't afford to send its 69 athletes to Los Angeles for the Summer Olympics in 1932, so they put them on a ship with 50,000 sacks of coffee and sold the beans at different ports along the way. Good thing Brazil has been the world's largest coffee producer for more than 150 years, so they had beans to spare. 9. Fun suckers tried to ban it a bunch of times. The first recorded crackdown on coffee happened in Mecca Circle, 1511, because the governor thought it encouraged people to hang out and brainstorm ways to dethrone him. In 1524, the order was overturned and people could drink coffee once more. One legend claims that Italian clergymen tried to make coffee illegal around 1,600 because they thought its side effects were satanic. But Pope Clement Rame loved the drink, so he declared that coffee should be baptized instead of banned. Occasional bans occurred in parts of the Ottoman Empire, and in 1,633 Sultan Murat Anvu actually made drinking coffee in public in the capital punishable by death. Coffee was banned in Sweden multiple times due to health-related speculations, and it was almost banned in Prussia because the king wanted people to drink more beer instead. 10. We spent a lot of money buying coffee. The average American spends about $1,100 on coffee each year, according to a 2016 study by investment app Acorn. An estimated 34% spent more money on coffee than investments. Wait! Coffee isn't an investment. This year, the Daily Meal found that we spend $4.63 on coffee every weekday, which amounts to $1,208.43 per year if we don't buy coffee on the weekend. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go.